Jenna, we need to talk. I'm done with you. You're too old for me and I can't stand this anymore. I want you out of my life. You're driving me insane. What? Philip, are you serious? What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to me? You know, I'm so happy because tomorrow I'm going to have our baby. And where are you? You should be here with me, supporting me. Why don't you come home? I need you right now. You're my husband for God's sake. Because every time I come home and see your massive belly, I feel like killing myself. Ugh, I miss my old life. That's why I don't want you here. When I'm at work, I have no worries. How could you say that to me? To the woman who's carrying your child? How can you be so cruel? Don't you care about my feelings? I'm having your daughter. I can't help being this big. I don't get you. Don't you have any shame? You look like a freak, a giant balloon. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have nothing to be ashamed of. Pregnancy is a natural and beautiful thing that some women choose to experience. Why should I feel bad about that? Oh, you should be ashamed. You know, it's pathetic that you're pregnant at your age. I would be mortified to be an old hag with a baby bump. <laughs> How dare you say such things to me? These are our children that you're mocking. It's not like I got pregnant on my own. You were involved too. You're just as responsible as I am. Well, if you ask me, it's only young people who should have children. Having a baby at your age is a big mistake. Young people? What are you implying? Is there something you want to tell me? Even if you do, it's too late to change anything. I'm pregnant. Very pregnant, in case you haven't noticed. I've always wanted a child, and now I finally have a chance to be a mother. After trying for five years, I got pregnant at 43. Women my age can still have healthy babies. Look, I don't need you to be rude and mean to me right before I give birth. Well, I guess I have no choice but to dump you like I should have done a long time ago. What did you just say? Dump me? What does that mean? I don't understand what you're trying to say, but I'm sick of your insults. You're being so cruel to me. I don't deserve this. I'm exhausted too, so can you please stop this nonsense? Fine. I'll just say it. I have a new girlfriend, and she's 21. And she's way better than you, you old hag. Huh? What do you mean? Are you saying that you have another woman? You've been cheating on me behind my back? Yeah, of course. And I think she wants to marry me. But you're getting in my way of doing that. To be honest, you're a complete eyesore. It's hard to look at you all the time. I want to live in the house with my new girlfriend. So would you please leave so she can move in? Now hold on just a minute. Is this some sick kind of joke? Are you pranking me right now? You're wanting to kick me out of my own house? You do realize that your own daughter is going to be born within the next few days. Do you hear what I'm saying? I totally get what you're saying. I'm not dumb. I just have no interest in what happens to you or what you're carrying. There's no such thing as love between us, Jenna. Just trying to be honest here. Are you being serious with what you're saying right now? I can't believe what's going on. So you've got no interest in me or our child anymore? No. So would you please get out of the house now and out of my life? I don't know how many times I've got to tell you what I want. I'm sure they'll admit you to the hospital, so at least you don't have to give birth on the streets. So can't you just move on and let me live my life? It would make things so much easier for me and my girlfriend. I want to get divorced before the baby is born. Custody issues are just going to cause a lot of trouble for both of us. Why are you jumping to these conclusions so quickly? I don't understand why you're treating me like this. This is the worst thing you've ever done to me. Don't you get that? I can't believe what you're saying to me. I'll never forgive you for this. You're not being serious, are you? Tell me that this is a joke and that you're going to come back to me. I'm being serious, Jenna. For goodness sake, I've already made my decision about what I want. Stop trying to get me back. I don't get why you think it's still a joke at this point. I've been very clear with you. I'm telling you to get out of my life. I can't help what's happened to you. You need to deal with it on your own. You can stay at the house until you need to be admitted to the hospital. But by the time that happens, you need to pack your things so they can be moved out. I'll leave the divorce papers for you to sign so that this is over and done with. You're being so cruel to me, Philip. How could you do this to a pregnant woman who's carrying your child? You're saying such terrible things to even though we're having a child together. This is supposed to be a happy time and I thought you wanted a child as much as I did. I'm so disappointed in what you're doing to me and you. 
And you should be disappointed in yourself. Nope. You're the only one who's feeling disappointed. I think it's disgusting and impossible for an old woman to give birth to a child. Hurry up and get out of here and just raise the child by yourself. You'll have no troubles anyway, if you want to be a mother. <laughs> you say these things so easily, like you're physically throwing me out of the door. I can't believe what's happening. I thought you'd be there for me. How dare you kick me out of the house under these circumstances? I'm surprised at how low you've sunk. Such a fool to believe in everything you said about me when we got together and decided to have children. On the other hand, maybe this will be a good thing for me, but who knows? What are you even rambling about? You know I don't care, so I don't hear it. <laughs> I want this over so that I can get married to my girlfriend quickly. I don't want to be with an old hag that has a huge belly that sticks out. I've got a young, cute girlfriend that I want to be with. You're so immature, calling me an old hag just like it means nothing. Don't you realize that you're an old man in his 40s? I'm still younger than you and have more energy and life in me. Oh, so that's why you want to be with someone that's more than half your age? Because you want your youth back? So do you really think that a 21-year-old girl is really in love with you? An old man? You're just jealous. So of course you've got no understanding of the situation. After all, she's more than 20 years younger than you, right? She's more young and beautiful than you are. If you'd given birth earlier in life, it wouldn't be strange to call her a child. Do you really think you can compete with her? We're in love with each other, and you're in the way, so you need to disappear. Oh, is that how it is? I fully understand what you're saying now. I get your point. It seemed like there's no point in talking about this anymore. I'm not going to get anywhere with this. It seems like your mind is completely occupied with this young, cute girl you have. And it seems like you've got no interest in the cute daughter that I'm about to give birth to. Do you really think you can love that kid you're about to push out of you? <laughs> huh? Oh, what are you talking about? How could I possibly hate a child? It would be impossible to love a child that's been birthed by a 43-year-old hag. <laughs> I intend on getting remarried to a younger and more beautiful woman. I can't believe she's only 21, and I want a divorce from you. It's as simple as that. Don't you think you're going to regret what you've said and going to do to me? What are you going on about? I've got nothing that I want to take back. I'm not going to regret anything. On the contrary, thank you for being so disgusting to me. I really appreciate it. To be honest, I think I can just blow off everything you've just said to me. I'll also get ready and go have this baby all on my own. I'm strong enough to do it all on my own. I'll sign the divorce papers and you can come back here and pick them up. You can file them with the courts yourself. Well, you've got no other choice but to do that. Okay, I'll get it sorted. I'd really appreciate it if you could divorce me properly so I can move on. Also, there are some other documents that I have that I need you to sign. So I'll prepare all the paperwork so you can sign it and be on your way. Wait, what? What documents are you wanting me to sign? You're not trying to divide up the property, are you? I have no intention of giving up the house. You do not want child support, do you? I don't want anything to do with the child, so I shouldn't have to pay you anything for it. I've got no intention of taking your money, Philip. I'm just asking you to return the money that I lent you. But this time, it's not about that. I just wanted to get custody of the child so that we've got no worries. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. It's definitely better to sort all this out now, so we're clear on everything we want. I don't want to pay anything to you or the child for the rest of my life. Okay, I understand. I see what you want. I'll just prepare the documents that I spoke about before. I'll just go and do that now. So if you'll excuse me, I need to go and do that. Jenna, please, pick up. I've been calling you non-stop, but you never answer. I'm sending you this message as a last resort. Is there something more important than talking to me right now? I'm desperate to hear your voice, so please call me back as soon as you get this. Why are you ignoring me like this? Why should I waste my time talking to you? Philip, you have nothing to say that I want to hear. What's the big deal? Why are you acting so cold? Don't shut me out like this. Please, just give me a chance. You can't spare a few minutes for me? I don't have any minutes for you. I have a new life now, a life that involves taking care of the baby I just brought into this world. I have a lot on my plate. I don't need you to add to it. You're nothing but a jerk to me now. What do you want from me, Philip? Oh, so you had the baby. 
How was the delivery? Everything went smoothly, right? Well, I'm happy for you. Save your fake happiness, Philip. I don't need it. I did it all on my own. And the baby is already a month old. What? A month old? You didn't tell me anything. How could you do this to me? This is going to make things very complicated. The day you kicked me out, I went into labor. I had no one to help me. I drove myself to the hospital and I gave birth alone. So, are you going to spit it out or not? Okay, I'll tell you. Something awful has happened. Jenna, I need you to come back to me. Please, say you will. Are you serious, Philip? This is some kind of sick joke, right? How can you expect me to come back to you after what you did to me? I'm in deep trouble, and I need your help. You're the only one who can save me. I want to see you face to face and explain everything to you. Please, let's meet up and sort this out. You've got to be kidding me. Have you forgotten how you threw me out and what you called me? Have you lost your mind? It's disgusting that you're begging me to meet you, and so urgently. I'm not going anywhere near you. Is it because you finally realized you're broke? How did you know that? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I knew you were going to bring up money problems. You're so predictable. I was the one who paid for everything in the house. Even when you moved in with your young and hot girlfriend, you had no clue how to cover the bills because I took care of them. I guess you ran out of money and love. How did the loans get so high? How did you manage to pay them all this time? I don't understand. What do you mean how? With money, of course. I've been paying for everything because that's what you do when you own a house. Really? You were the one who paid for it. I thought someone else was handling it. Oh my god, Philip, are you that clueless? Did no one ever teach you how bills work? I've been telling you how I pay for everything for ages. Do you ever listen to anything I say? Look, I don't have time to deal with your mess, okay? I'm done with you. But I really need some advice on how to deal with this mess. I'm freaking out here. Why is my bank account empty? Did you steal my money, Jenna? If you did, you better pay me back every single cent. Don't be ridiculous. You can see for yourself what the money was spent on by checking the details. Okay, I should be able to do that. Well, I suppose I have to explain it to you then. Your salary was used to pay off the debts that you owed me. I didn't think that you had any money to spare anyway. What? That can't be true, can it? My salary was going to debt? You loved using your credit card every month and you racked up a huge debt. So of course, you lost most of your salary to pay it off. And since you were on a revolving credit, you had to save more and more money to clear it. Now you have nothing left by the end of the month. That's what happened. No way. You're lying to me, aren't you? If you look at your bank statements, you'll see that the debts were from the credit card company, okay? Why don't you go and check for yourself? But I had no clue about any of this. I never paid attention to it. How could you not? What the hell, Philip? Are you serious? You're such a hopeless case. You need to learn how to budget. I don't get why you never told me about it before you kicked me out. It's so stupid that you only realized it now. Even when I was on maternity leave, you couldn't stop cheating on me. You didn't care about me, and now you need my help? I can't believe how selfish you are. You need to grow up, and it's even worse now that you're broke. You were too dumb to see where you were heading, but you kicked me out anyway. What a joke! Jenna, I've made a terrible mistake. I thought I could handle this without you. I'm really sorry for everything that I've done. Please, come back to the house so we can fix this whole mess. We can start over and forget what happened last month. I'll be there for you and the baby. I really want to meet our child. Are you kidding me, Philip? Why are you twisting everything? Trying to get me to come back after all the things you said? Why are you saying such disgusting things to me? I'm confused. What disgusting things am I saying? We're already divorced for God's sake, Philip. So why are you changing your mind about us? You made your choice. Now lie in the bed you made. No, I, I think I've really screwed up everything. I'm reaching out to you to see if we can try again. That's what I want to do. I've made up my mind. Please, let me make it up to you. Jenna, I'm really sorry. Please, forgive me and come back to me. Of course, you only apologize to me when things go wrong for you. No matter how much you say you're sorry, nothing is going to change how I feel about you now. Are you serious? But I said I was sorry. Why are you being so harsh? I've been nothing but remorseful in this conversation. Because I'm done with you. I've had enough of your crap, and the way you treated me in the past was horrible. But what am I going to do without your help? Don't you see how hopeless I am without you? 
I'll be in big trouble if I can't pay for the home loan. This is bad. What should I do? Are you really going to leave me with this load? Are you joking with this abandonment talk? You make me laugh, Philip. <laughs> You're the one saying this, even though you left me and our daughter just before she was born. I was pregnant and you kicked me out, like trash. If you don't have any money for the home loan payments, then you should sell some of your stuff. Or sell the house. <laughs> I guess I can't argue with that. But I didn't think you'd be so mad about what I did to you. I'm so sorry. But could you please lighten up a bit and help me out? My mood is not the issue here, Philip. You're the one who's making trouble for me. Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Don't you understand what you did to me? What you put me through? We are strangers to each other now, and I don't want anything to do with you ever again. I made you read the papers, and we both signed them. So you need to stop trying to get me back, you scum. Handle your own life from now on. But what should I do, though? What if I want to sell the house? How do I do that? Where should I go after it's sold? What am I supposed to do if you're not guiding me? You're a 42-year-old man, Philip. Can't you figure it out once for yourself? Aren't you ashamed that you can't even do that without someone holding your hand? Well, since you only care about your problems, I'm sure you'll run out of money again soon. I bet your girlfriend will run for the hills then. What? How did you know about my girlfriend running off? That makes sense. You must have been spying on me so you could talk about getting back together with me, right? Do you really think that I have time for that? Well, don't you? Since you're on maternity leave, that's why you're showing me that you care, right? There's no way that I care about you. You're delusional. You're just making things up that you hope are true about us. What do you mean by that? Making up things? It's easy to make things up when you're desperate and need all the help you can get. Why would a young girl stay with a broke old man when the money runs out? You don't think she actually loves you, do you? She was just with you for your money as you paid for everything for her. That's the only reason she stuck around. I guess she thought if she got an older man, he would buy her anything and everything and give her all his money. I feel sorry for the girl who settled for a man who let her down. Meeting her expectations. Are you kidding me? Don't you dare talk to me like that. It's just cruel. I was being serious before, but now I've come down a little bit. I regret that I put my hands over a young woman and didn't think about the consequences. Well, your regrets are too little too late for me. I don't want to hear another word of it from you. I'm so done with talking to you. We're finished. Oh, come on, Jenna. Let me fix what I broke. I can support you and the baby and we'll be able to raise it as a family. We'll live together happily with our little bundle of joy. Oh, shut up. Philip, your words aren't going to work on me. Stop being so gross. I don't want anything from you. You gave up your rights as a parent when you signed those documents in the restraining order. You can't come near me anymore or you'll be arrested. But at that time, I didn't think something like this would happen. I thought I would be able to get on with my life with a younger woman. I'm really sorry, Jenna. Please, take me back. Can't you at least forgive me for what I've done? You do remember that you owe me money, right? Huh? What money? What are you talking about? Please, just pay me back and let me live my life with my baby. Once you do, I'll have the lawyer go around and collect it from you. Please, refrain from contacting me directly, as I won't answer you with a single text or call. Jenna, please. I'm begging you to forgive me. What I did was so wrong. I know that now. We were really happy when we were together, right? We can be that way again. I know it. Let's fix this and be a family. To be honest, it would be impossible to have a family with you. How can you say such cruel things to me? But you can call me an old hag and say other disgusting words to me. I didn't mean to call you that. I'm really sorry. It's too late. You're definitely not going to get into heaven because of what you've done. Enjoy your new single life and enjoy the poor life also. After witnessing Philip's betrayal, I decided to cut off all contact with him and never speak to him again. Philip was left with no choice but to sell the house that they had bought together, but that was not enough to cover the huge debt that he had accumulated. He desperately begged me to help him pay off the money that he had borrowed from me, but his plea was ignored and the full amount was demanded by my lawyer. Philip felt a surge of fear and anxiety, knowing that his meager salary would never be enough to settle his debt. To make matters worse, his employer discovered his shady dealings and threatened to fire him. 
Philip hoped to find some support from me, but I had moved out of our apartment and he had no idea where I was. He searched for me everywhere, but I had vanished from his life. Philip realized that he had lost everything and there was no way out of his misery.